in the last demonstration, what we had was a random frequency generator. So that every time I clicked on this bang object, a new random number got generated and the frequency got output through the speakers of the computer. What I would prefer to happen is to have that happen rhythmically, happen over a certain period, every half second, let's say, that a new random drummer, uh, a new random number gets created. And to do that, I need a timer that triggers every half second and feed that into the random number generator. Timers in pure data, because of its background in music, they chose an object called Metro to do this job for them. And so to create a metro, metro object, short for metronome, uh, I'll just go into the put menu and choose object and type metro. Just like with random and oscillator, I can feed an argument into metro while I'm creating it. And the argument is how often you want the metronome to time, how often do you want it to create this trigger. And it's done in milliseconds, this argument, so if I want it to happen every half second, there's a thousand milliseconds in a second, so 500 milliseconds is a half second. And there's my metro object. Now just to show you how this works, I'm going to create a bang object, because we need a bang object to start off the metro in the first instance. And I'm going to connect that to the inlet of the metro object. And what comes out of the metro object is a signal, a trigger. And if I attach a bang object to its outlet, I should see the signal come out and the bang should flash. So let me put this into run mode and I'll show you what I mean. I have to trigger the metro object to start timing. And as soon as I do that, I'll see every half second there's an outlet coming out here. There's an output coming to this uh, bang operator. And I can see it flicking on every half second. And so that's what I want to happen. Except rather than signaling this trigger to this bang object, I want to signal it into this random object here. So I'm going to go back into edit mode. I'm going to take away this bang object. And I'll take away this one as well and I'm going to connect this metro here to this random object and I can see the random numbers getting getting created there and what I'd like to do is listen to it so I'm going to turn on the sound and so that's it that's how we generate rhythmical random numbers or random frequencies in pure data.